Recently, I've been feeling a bit burnt out of zombies, so I thought I'd play some Extinction. And I've always loved Extinction, but I've only ever played the first map properly. So I was surprised to see that the maps that were released later became a lot harder and also just a lot weirder. It seems like the developers actually really cared about Extinction, and it shows because I had a lot of fun making this video. And I might go so far to say this is the most underrated game mode released by Call of Duty. Point of Contact, the first map released on the 5th of November 2013, near 9 years ago now, and I feel like it aged really well to this point. The game starts with you being given a drill, and this drill allows you to destroy these hives, you need to destroy about 14 hives, and then you'll finally be able to unlock a nuke, and then you have to run back to the starting point, thus eliminating all of the aliens in this area. You get given challenges, and when you complete a challenge, you get a skill point, and there's an entire custom skill tree that you can upgrade. You get one skill point for completing a challenge, and one skill point for destroying a hive. Here I upgrade my armor, piercing ammo, and my pistol. And that's pretty much all you need to know going into extinction. And so I take my drill to my second hive. Now these hives at the start are really easy and I have five maps to get through. So I'm gonna go over this map very fast, especially because this map is the most well-known and the easiest. Although I still like it a lot. I drop an armor vest and then move to my third hive and then my fourth. Now I hadn't played this in a long time. So barrier five helicopter inbound came up on screen and it reminded me that I all I have to do is protect the helicopter helicopter as it breaks down this wall and so I use my death machine to kill all of these scorpions around this area because the scorpions are annoying as hell. It is important to note that I'm not using any teeth in this video so far. If you didn't know you can use teeth to upgrade a lot of things and so it basically just makes your game a lot easier and so you can see without any teeth it's kind of like Cold War the game is actually kind of difficult and what I mean by that is when you start Cold War the game's not that easy but once you have everything upgraded it's easy. Same thing is applied to extinction here and I actually think the game's a lot funner without the teeth. Finally, the helicopter destroys the hive wall and I get rewarded with some cash. And with this wall being down, I can now enter the second part of the map. In this area, I then completed my first hive and my second one and grabbed the bison and then started my third hive. And this is where the game starts to get a little bit more difficult. The bomber aliens start spawning in and they're a pain. And also there's just always scorpion zombies hitting you from who knows where. At this stage in the game, my weapon specialist was level three. My pistol was level four and I upgrade my armor piercing ammo to level five and my armor to level four. I then have to protect a helicopter again as it destroys another hive wall. The only things that can damage the helicopter are the scorpions, so I make sure to focus on them. But I also have to be very careful of the bomber zombies coming in and also the little scout zombies. Not to mention the leapers as well. As we move on to the other extinction maps, you're going to be seeing a lot of different variety of the aliens. A lot of the harder aliens come in on the later maps, and that's partially why this map is so much easier. Although it doesn't stop it from being pretty intense. Same as before, after I've knocked down the wall, I then get some cash and I can enter the third area of the map. And this is where we see our first rhino alien. Although he spawns only by himself, so he's super easy to kill. And this part of the map's pretty cool. The level of detail is actually really impressive. And that might be just because we just had Vanguard zombies. And that may have been the worst experience ever. I start the first drill and pick up the L115 sniper, which I didn't even know was on this map. But as I soon learned, is a very good weapon. I felt like the Biazon wasn't really doing much and my pistol was really carrying this game. Now there are traps on every extinction map, but on this map the traps really suck. And my challenge was to get five kills with the traps, and I got zero. I then did my second hive in the area and started my third one. For my third one, it started getting a little bit harder, so I started using my vulture and also my death machine, really getting use of these abilities. Because of the weapon specialist, I am holding three weapons, so I dropped the buys on for, for the MTS shoddy. I then start the fourth hive, and already there's quite a lot of aliens around me. I feel like extinction at times looks a lot easier than it really is. Is. I then whip out my snipe and start quickscoping the aliens. It's really fun doing this, to be honest. And if you do headshot an alien, which it sounds weird to say, but if you do, it's a one-shot kill on any of the aliens. So, and so I complete the fourth drill, and even in doing so, I have to use my vulture. There's just a lot of aliens around, and then a rhino just comes sprinting over. But honestly, like I said, this map's pretty chill. On the other maps, there's literally blue-eyed rhinos who are five times as strong. And at this stage of the game, I do start upgrading my vulture, the upgraded vulture is really good. I've already got all my necessities nearly fully maxed and now I just have to upgrade the vultures and this is the very last hive I have to do until I unlock the nuke. And really if I didn't have the sniper here things would have gone maybe a lot more sour but I had the sniper and I was hitting my shots and I was one-shotting all of the scorpion zombies. Even saying that though about three quarters through the drill started getting really weak about 40 health and so I had to repair it once there was a bit of downtime between the aliens sporting in and I had a vulture up protecting my, my back. And so that was the final hive 
and now I get a tactical nuke. I interact with the tactical nuke, and then I have four minutes to get back to the spawn. And you can see I am getting hit in the back a lot there, so I chuck down an armor and then start making my way. Now, there are a lot of things happening all at once when you do make this journey. As you saw, there was two scorpions and one rhino that just spawned in, but I just ignore them, run straight past, use my vulture. But unfortunately, you can't just ignore the aliens. You actually have to kill one of the rhinos. I think that's how it works. I'm actually not entirely sure. It might be you just have to kill all of the aliens. I think this is the first time I've actually completed this solo. So I didn't know what I was doing, but after a while, the meteorite blocking the alley went away. And so then another rhino alien spawns in and I do kill the rhino alien and the meteorite. After a little bit disappears after I kill the final scorpion alien. And now all I have to do is reach to the helicopter. Now, now this map's ending is so much easier than the other maps. I'm sorry, I've said that multiple times now, but it's just true. But it's still very fun and very cool that you have to make your journey back. It would have been cooler if they maybe made it so you only had three minutes to do it. But I do hop into the helicopter and I can watch as a nuke go off. I do try and get a sneaky kill in there, but I don't think your weapons even register at this stage. And boom. So I did 14 hives and I did that with zero downs. Nightfall, the second map released in Call of Duty Ghosts, and this is where Extinction starts to change quite a bit. So the intro for this map is quite interesting. He goes, help me, man, open this gate, open this gate. I shoot him, just as a bit of a joke. And then boom, <laughs> this big monster comes out of nowhere and just... Yeah, this map does start similar to Point of Contact, and so I do the first three hives really fast. And after finishing the third hive, I can then enter a room, and I grab the LSAT for 3,000 points, a light machine gun, and I search a little container and get rapid fire on the LMG. I then do my fourth hive, and this is where things start to change quite a lot. Because instead of a helicopter coming in and destroying a wall hive, there's actually a boss that I have to defeat to get to the next stage of the map. This boss is called the Breeder, and you only get given two minutes to defeat him. And so I failed many times trying to do this. And it was only until I started picking up the LSAT LMG that I, that I was able to actually do this. And you can see, I do get a red screen. You don't want to get too close to him. He has three different attacks. And by far the most lethal is when he just slaps you with his little claw things. He also shoots out a red mist sometimes that is really strong. And he can also shoot bullets back towards you. But I do actually take down the breeder within one minute. I probably failed about six times before doing this. But I kind of figured out when he's shooting out his eggs onto the map, that's the best time to shoot him. Especially with the LSAT, you do so much damage. You can see the breeder run off, and so we're going to have to fully defeat him later on. And just like on point of contact, when you get to the next stage of the map, you get some cash. I then have three hives that I have to destroy in this area, and I do begin to struggle quite a bit. Rhinos start spawning in, scorpions hitting you from above. There's so much happening, and my drill gets super weak here. My drill health actually goes all the way to 34 just as the drill ends. So things are definitely getting progressively harder. And on the next hive, I get a red screen, and I'm not even really halfway through this map. Yet. And after each hive, the aliens do get stronger. I believe anyway. It definitely seems that way. So now I've cleared out this area, I move on to the next, and I have to kill a rhino, just the same as on point of contact. It's super chill though, because it's just one rhino. And then I destroy my first hive in this area, and this hive acts like a door, and so once you destroy it, you can actually go into it, and you can get the one weapon on this map, the Venom X. And this thing is awesome, it makes extinction a lot more fun and also a lot easier. Because these maps start to get a lot harder, the Venom X is really helpful, but you do only get four shots with it, but it pretty much one shots everything and about three shots the rhinos. And to get ammo, on it you can't just drop ammo you need to pick up the little egg thing again this hive acts like a doorway and so once it finishes you can actually enter this room and i really don't know much about the story and extinction here but that was quite quite a brutal slap i must say so and then it looks like these characters are gonna die but i'm pretty sure the girl doesn't in the comment section let me know i finished all these maps and i still have no idea about the story but i finally finished my final hive and then a timer starts ticking down and this was the first time i'd done this so i had no idea what was gonna happen and it took me two the final boss fight and i actually find this boss fight easier than when i first versed him and so it probably is my least favorite end to a map i don't know i found it super easy i didn't know what i was even doing anyway but i think you knock him down and then you shoot him in the side but yeah this was pretty damn true i have to admit i pretty much just ran around until i got him to half health and then he, he goes up onto the building and then all you have to do is just survive while he's up there i mean like i said this just isn't that hard but it's pretty cool i mean it is pretty cool the pistol did really no damage to it really the cheat code 
mode for this boss fight is using the LSAT. It just does so much damage. I mean, my pistol is like fully upgraded. It's not really doing much at all. And you can get your vulture to help at the same time. And so here you can see that I do actually destroy his side there. I really am not sure how it actually works. And then towards the ends here, he shoots these things out and I think he heals himself and I nearly get hit by his claws. So that was very close. But as he's trying to shoot back at me, I just use my pistol to shoot him. I see that it's glowing on his side there. So I try and take this his side out. I don't quite finish it. I then grab some Venom X ammo, which is awesome. And I can now finish the job with the Venom X. And boom. So that is Nightfall done. I do really like this map. It is really fun. But the boss fight at the end is super easy on solo anyway. But it is an experience if you just want to play it once and have some fun. Mayday. So on this map, I guess a boat is infected because you go from a little boat and travel to a bigger boat to kill a big monster at the end. I don't really know the story behind this map. It sounds kind of nonsensical, but hey, maybe I'm just an idiot. This map start is the most chill, so I'm going to skip right over it. But after doing the first two hives in this area, I do make my way to this little area here and you can pick up a lot of schematics. So you can get the Venom X on this map again, but you can only get it through a schematic and you get parts to actually build the weapon through grabbing the schematic. On this map, you can actually open doors and there are different kind of enemies. I don't even know what these are called. And they also spawn in these plants that can shoot you. Uh, but I get through that door and then I make my way to this area. And this is where one of the tentacles of the big monster comes into the map. And to be honest, he's pretty easy to kill. When I first played this map, it kind of startled me. I was like, what the hell has just came in? And it is super ugly. But, <laughs> but I do manage to kill the tentacle. He can't really hit you. So he just hits the walls and that damages you. And then I finish this hive, which allows me to enter this corridor and then i open another door and then with the drill i make my way up into the next area of the map i check another red bench to see if the venom x schematic is there and it's not i could get the the grenade schematics but i don't really care about them that much i then do my next hive and grab the chainsaw for three thousand dollars i do find that the lmgs are the best weapons for this game mode and i feel like you could just work that out through common sense anyway once i finish my second hive in this area it actually opens up a little tray where i can put the drill on it and so i put the drill on a robot that if I press this button, it actually goes into this area and I have to protect it from outside the area because I can't get in there. So just a bit of variety, I guess we're protecting the drill and destroying hives. Once that hive is destroyed though, I can pick up the drill as the robot comes back around the other way. And then I have to open this door using the drill. And this is the hardest point to where I've gotten to an extinction. The blue aliens start spawning in and pretty much they go invisible here and there. And if they hit you, they take down like a third of your health. They do a lot of damage and they also take a lot of damage to kill and also these plants do a lot of damage as well and they're a pain in the ass i often do just find this door really hard i actually failed a few times here and so i do have to repair the drill just to be careful finally though the drill does finish opening the door and i press a button in the room which when i get into the cargo container allows me to actually get lifted up onto the deck of the boat and once i'm on the deck of the boat i then have two more hives and a door again of course because every hive gets harder as you go on i struggled with the last door and so i start really struggling with this hive the challenges don't spend any money for two minutes but the biggest issue is i don't even have enough money to actually buy any ammo so i end up running around for a while with no ammo just trying to survive whilst the drill gets really weak it gets all the way down to 20 health and i am myself are on low health as well and i have a blue alien on me that's trying to kill me thankfully the blue alien disappears and also the drill ends but even then after the drills ended there's still so many aliens just coming after me and i get attacked by the scorpion and then also the blue alien just teleports behind me i'm not sure if they go invisible or they teleport i think they go invisible because i'm pretty sure you could hit them when they're when they seem to have disappeared i then get the venom x schematic and so i open this door because there's a lot of lockers that i can search to get all the parts for the venom x um and so i look through all of these red lockers and i get the venom x through three parts that's just how you build it and i got the fire venom x so it's called the venom fx there's a fire, electricity, and also an acid version. And on this map, there's also like a version that spawns plants. It's kind of like having turns, but you spawn your own turn zombies. It's not as good as the other versions, in my opinion. I was really struggling, but with the Venom FX, it helps so much. I usually just keep it until I get into a really uncomfortable situation, and then I'll just spam it. Or if I get some more ammo, and then I'll use all four of my shots. But I do finish my final hive in this area, and I also get some ammo for the Venom FX. Moving on to the last area with 
with hives. I finish the first hive and move on to the second one and a rhino spawns in and also a blue alien. I actually think the blue aliens are stronger than the rhinos. And so I do finish my second hive and then move on to the third. And here I nearly go down because again, there's another blue alien. There's a rhino. There's a big fat acid one that spits out the plants and there's bomber aliens. There's just so much more going on on Mayday. But this room is quite big. So I have a lot of area just to, just to kind of get away from the zombies here and there. After destroying all of the hives in the area, I then start the valve step. And pretty much all I have to do is just protect the valves as it releases gas into this other building. Again, I really don't know much about the storyline, so I don't know what's going on here. So again, maybe in the comments, you guys can let me know. I did fail a few times at this step prior, but this time I absolutely nailed it. On this map, it really matters the efficiency from which you upgrade your skills. So if you miss any challenge points, it can be really bad. And so finally onto the main boss. And this boss is crazy. I really like this boss. It's literally a massive kraken slash alien slash weird looking thing. I don't <laughs> exactly know what it is, but man, it's cool. And at this stage, this is where you start to go, is this Call of Duty? And with the next two maps, you're probably going to be thinking the same. The way this boss fight works is that there's a wave of aliens that spawn in and the boss just slams his tentacles here and there and you just don't want to get under them. But once you see the boss take off his tentacles off the deck, I get straight onto the turret because when the red dot above the monster's eyes turns red, you can actually do damage to the monster. And so I make sure I don't get hit while I'm on the turret and I try and get as many bullets into the monster as I possibly can. Another reason why I do it at this time is because the boss actually heats up the deck and so you take, and so you take a lot of damage if you anywhere but on the tyrant. I do get EMP'd out of the tyrant, but this is pretty much the entire boss fight. The monster goes under the boat and onto the other side, and this is the entire boss fight. It just repeats itself on one side of the boat to the other. So I get on the tyrant again when the monster starts heating up the deck, and I try and get as much damage as I possibly can, and I finally do take him. I was lagging a bit here, so my game's stuttering quite a lot, so that kind of sucks to see the epic death of this boss in, like, a stuttering motion, but oh well, I wasn't going to repeat it just because of that, because it does look pretty cool. Anyway, and yeah, I mean, I really like Mayday. What can I say? It may be one of my favorites. It's a really cool concept going from a little boat to a big boat and then killing a big monster. Again, I don't really know what was the point of it because it seemed like there was no people on the boat. But hey, we saved the day somehow. Awakening. Now, this is the first map where I thought maybe the developers took some drugs when they made this map because this map is very pretty whilst also being quite ugly, whilst also just being really weird and having a lot of new enemies and also being very different to the other maps, which I really appreciate, to be honest. Each map has its own uniqueness and it makes every map more enjoyable. I do grab the Remington because there's freaking flying gargoyles on this map. At first, when I played this game, I was like, there's legit demons flying in the sky. What the hell am I playing? There are also these new plants that dispel gas and they're really annoying. They slow you down and just do a lot of damage if you're in their proximity. There's also bomber aliens, which I'll show later because they're really strong as well. Here I get the holographic scope on the Remington and also I look for the Venom schematic. I do get it this time at the very start of the map, unlike on Mayday. And I get the Venom LX, which is the lightning version. So I've had the acid, I've had the fire and I've had the lightning. And I think I do like the lightning one the best. I'm pretty sure they do all the same damage. And you can see here, this is when the bombers do come in. They're like these little green things. Fortunately, this time they didn't hit me. But a lot of the time, if there's a lot of things going on on the ground on the map, oft times you just won't look in the air to see the bomber aliens coming down to hit you. Another reason why I think they might have been on mushrooms when they made this map is because you can literally jump like 10 meters up in the air on a mushroom. I was trying to get ammo for my Venom LX and I just couldn't get it because I kept just jumping up and down off the mushroom. So once I did finish all of my drilling on this map, I go over to this box here and I can actually call in a vulture and control it. And I have to then destroy all of these tombs. So there's like six tombs. This is like the easiest step on any of the maps. Super easy. Kind of fun though. You can get a free points by doing it as well. Uh, so I finish that and then it enables me to move on to the next stage. So each map kind of has this thing where you have to do a step to move on to the next stage. And so for this map, it's by controlling the vultures. And so again, I complete all of the drilling in this area. I'm going through this pretty fast because at this point, we're doing the same stuff, but on different maps with different enemies. I feel like extinction is one of those modes that's a lot more fun to play than to watch. I I do upgrade my vulture fully on this map. The vulture fully upgraded is insane. And the entire game, I was always looking in little caves and things for this attachment, the Ark, and I put it onto my Remington because the Ark is really good with the Remington. And also a blue rhino spawns in, but I have Venom LX, so I just destroy him. The blue rhino can spawn in more leapers and scouts, and he just takes a lot longer to kill. I start my first drilling in this area, and the map does get a lot harder. I failed a few times in this scenario, and 
and I start getting a lot of red screens. But you can see the arc on the Remington is really fun to use and really strong. If you couldn't get the Venom X or the arc on this map, it would be really, really hard to do solo. Another reason why the arc is so good is that you can take out the gargoyles really easily because they're a pain in the ass. If they start shooting you, they'll do a lot of damage. So once I finished this third area and just and did all the drilling I needed to do, I move on to this temple. This is pretty epic stuff. Very kind of not Call of Duty, I would say. Although zombies does that a lot of the time where you think, wow, zombies has really gone far from the core of what Call of Duty is. Extinction does that on this map as well. And so this is kind of like the valve step on Mayday. You just have to protect these four little, I don't really know what they're called, databases or something. So that that's the guy I'm pretty sure who survived that alien attack. And whenever you get overwhelmed by protecting these four little positions, you can just go to the guy and hold on the cortex and it will just nuke the whole area. So whenever I saw a rhino spawn in, I would just use it. Here, I did start to notice that my progress wasn't going up anymore. So I had to actually repair one of the pillars so that I would keep moving. And I did finish this. And then we have five minutes to get all the way back to the starting area. So this is just like point of contact, but far harder. So I make my way outside of the temple first and get to the first position. There's a wall just like there was a meteorite block in the alleyway on point of contact. And I was actually lagging really hard here. You can see I'm stuttering. I don't know how I survived this to be completely honest. There's freaking rhinos, there's scorpions, there's leapers. Everything's trying to kill me. If I didn't add the Venom LX again, I probably would have died here. And this lag was actually so painful. With one Venom LX, I killed like four aliens then and weakened the rhino. So once the cortex is charged though, you can activate the cortex and that will just nuke all of the aliens in this area. And you can see I have a red health bar there. I do nuke them though and then make my way to the next wall that's blocked off. I then set down my cortex again. I always put out the vulture straight away. The vulture level five. Again, if I didn't have that as well, I definitely would have failed. And I just try and survive until it runs out. You don't necessarily have to kill all of the aliens in the area. You just have to survive. And I actually found this area a little bit easier because I was just avoiding the bomber aliens especially. If they do hit you, they do a lot of damage. And with the Venom LX, you can just shoot it on the ground and it will just keep on doing damage for about four seconds, which allows me to activate my second cortex. And then I make my way to the very start of the map and I just need to do one more. And this one was super chill because the rhino spawned up in the air there. And there's a lot of bomber aliens, but they don't really actually come to me for some weird reason. I'm pretty much just chilling. This one was super chill. I use my Venom LX whenever I can. And on this map, I did forget to mention there is low gravity. I've gone through this whole map without even mentioning that. There is low gravity, so you jump really high. So if you want to get away from the aliens, you can just jump away. And then I make my way back to the start. This is just like point of contact, but a lot crazier and a lot of fun. I would not, I could not imagine what this would be like co-op. So for this last map, I thought I'd have a bit of fun and use all of my teeth. Now I, I do have 5,000 teeth. I am max level because I was using IW6X. So I had every single thing unlocked. So I thought it'd be cool if I went into this game, upgrading every single thing that you can with teeth and making myself very overpowered. I also did this because Exodus is just a really, really hard map. So at the beginning of this map, all you have to do is survive one minute 30. Once you open a door, there's three doors you can choose. I chose this direction. I survived one minute and 30 seconds. And now I can enter one of the generator rooms. In the generator room, I go to the red bench and I pick up the disruptor schematic and build the disruptor. So this is a weird looking wonder weapon, but basically it just shoots little blue orbs out or you can do a full charge with the 10 max bullets in it. And I'll show you that later. With one of my teeth upgrades, when upgrading my pistol to a muzzle, it actually gives it the arc muzzle. So my pistol is gonna be super good. So on this map, it's a little bit different. There's no drill. You just have to turn on these generators and wait until the generator finishes generating I guess once I turn on the second generator one of the ancestors spawns in um, and he's really cool the way I do most of my damage to him is I do the 10 shot charge with the disruptor as you saw just then and so he will usually just sit at the window there and do a lot of damage to the generator but sometimes he will pick you up and when you're picked up you can't do anything and you just take a bunch of damage but nonetheless it is pretty chill I then enter the next room again I just have to survive a minute 45 this time there are gargoyles on this map as well and my pistol just just wrecks them. And there are bomber aliens. Like I said, this map is the hardest in my opinion. I struggled a lot with it. And I move on to my next generator. Finish that generator and then move on to the next. And every second generator, an ancestor does spawn in. But they are pretty chill at this point in the game. One of the other upgrades with the teeth made it so my knife does a lot more damage. I can one knife kill the scouts now. I do go to the bottom of the gas station and pick up the K7, which is one of the best weapons on extinction, I find. But I'm pretty sure it's only on Exodus. I didn't see it on any of the other maps. A very solid weapon. 
Now, if you look up into the sky, as I'm killing this gargoyle, there's like a thousand gargoyles going in a circle, just hovering over the map. It's pretty insane. And there are new scorpions on this map. I'm not sure if they're on any other map, but they shoot like a more red acid and they do a lot more damage, I find anyway. As you guys can tell, I just played this. I didn't really study it. I don't think there's much on Extinction, to be honest. When I was looking at YouTube videos, it just seemed like no one cared when this game mode came out. I then opened the next door and I have to survive to make it to the next generator area. Two gargoyles are here. <laughs> They're so funny looking, but it's such a cool thing to put into this map. I really, I really like the gargoyles, even though they're annoying as shit sometimes. I then start my final generators. You can see I take out that blue alien so fast. I then upgrade my pistols fully, and this gives me akimbo pistols. I never did this before because I actually feel like it's worse, but I wanted to see what it'd be like with the double arcs. I then go back to the start of the spawn, and the girl who was attacked by the aliens is here this time instead of the guy. I really don't know the storyline. It's almost like a Samantha Maxis kind of vibe. And then I'm on to the final boss fire already where I have to kill three ancestors and these guys have a lot of health and they're quite a pain in the ass to be honest. I try to use my disruptor as much as possible because it does a lot of damage to the ancestor because he often puts up a shield to protect himself. I then get picked up again by the ancestor and nearly go down. I don't think the aliens can hit you when he picks you up so I was pretty chill then but I, I did get pretty close to going down even with like tier three health and max armor but I do take out my first ancestor and then another ancestor comes in from the other way. I take him out and then onto my my last ancestor who comes from the other direction and i'm gonna say this again but i think extinction is a lot more fun to play than it is to watch so i've kind of skipped over this boss fight quite a lot because in the moment i really enjoyed it it's a lot of fun but watching it back it just doesn't seem the same i don't know just play extinction man appreciate this game i know some of you guys definitely would um there seems like there's some people out there who really love extinction but there's other people that hate on it but yeah i mean i would recommend go play some extinction if you're not playing any other games right now you're not enjoying anything and see what you really think of it because like i said at the very start of the video i'd only played point of contact before and finishing all of these maps really opened my eyes to how much fun extinction really was